Hi, I'm Sean Toomey from Posmo Media. So let's just start out by creating our first item. You simply type, so I'm gonna create an item called personal, and then I'm gonna create an item called work. And under personal, I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna hit the tab to indent, and here I am gonna create journal and grocery list. So the idea is to create a hierarchy and organization. So to create lists and then to create sublists. And the thing is you can simply keep going. And if I want to indent these further, I would just use the tab key on my keyboard. And if I want to outdent something, then I use the shift and tab keys on my keyboard to bring it back. Assuming you want to delete one of the items, you can simply backspace and delete it. Otherwise, you can also highlight multiple items and then this menu pops up where you can delete all. And then you can quickly delete all those items. I want to undo that action so you also see the arrows at the top here. So if I click undo, then it brings those back. And if you want to move lists, then you simply drag and drop them. So assuming I want to move items around here, I can just drag and drop. If I want to move this entire list, I can move it to the top. Then a really important function within Workflowy is the zooming into lists and zooming out. Uh, or you can call it expanding or compressing. So assuming I want to compress all of these lists, you'll see there's a negative sign next to this bullet. So I can just click on that to compress all these lists. And then I can even compress these lists. And now assuming I just want to work on my work list, I can click on this bullet item and then we actually jump into this list. So if I want to click into project, you'll see that it creates this breadcrumb menu at the top. And then that also lets me jump back to home to see all my lists. And then using this plus symbol, I can obviously, again, expand these different lists. Another thing you can do is you can add a note to any item. And to do that is you hold your cursor over the bullet point and then you click on add note. And here we can now type a description or additional information for this specific list. And you can obviously do the same for any other item. A shortcut with the keyboard to do that is to hold down shift and then press enter. Another thing is you can of course use Workflowy as a to-do list. And to illustrate this, I'm gonna create a new list called action items. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom into this list so we can just focus on our action items list. And then as you wish, you can just keep adding subtasks if you wanna break down an action into multiple smaller tasks. Now that we have a to-do list and we wanna mark items as completed, we can simply hover the cursor over the bullet point and then click on complete, and it'll strike through the task and it'll mark it as complete. And at the top right, you'll see a setting where you can hide completed items or you can have them as being visible. So if we click on this, then we can hide that item. And if we click it again, then it'll bring it up again. If for some reason an item needs to be opened again, then you can obviously just undo that by hovering over the bullet point and clicking complete to undo the strike through. Another feature that saves a lot of time and is very useful is duplicating an individual item or duplicating an entire list. So if we want to duplicate an individual item, we just hover over the bullet and we click duplicate. And if we want to duplicate the entire list, we do exactly the same and it simply duplicates the list. Another really powerful feature within Workflowy is using hashtags to tag items into a specific category. So you can use this across Workflowy on any of your lists. You can simply add hashtags and by using hashtags, you're grouping items together. So whether you want to add a hashtag called email or a hashtag today, because then what you can do is you can click on individual hashtags and it'll simply show you the items that have been tagged with that hashtag. Another feature that is really powerful in Workflowy is sharing lists. And this allows us to share lists with colleagues, with clients, with friends or family. And the way you do this, assuming I want to share this list action items, I simply hover over this bullet and here I have the option of sharing this list. With this light box, you'll see the sharing option. And the first option is to share this list via a secret shared link. And here we have the option of sharing a list that can only be viewed or sharing a list that can actually be edited. And this is obviously powerful for collaboration. You can create a list and collaborate on something and have other users edit the list and add items to the list. So for this example, I wanna let other users edit this list and that'll create this secret link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this link and then I'm gonna open a new incognito window. And if I load up that link, you will see that we can access this list and what we can actually do is we can add to it. So, so this view is obviously how someone else would see it. And the thing is, they do not need a Workflowy account. They do not need to be signed into Workflowy. 
This is really powerful. You can simply send someone a link and they can access a list of items that you've created and they can even collaborate with you without even being logged into Workflow. You'll now see that the changes that were made by the other user, they actively reflect on my account. What you'll also notice is that a shared list shows up as light blue versus a normal list that is gray. And if you want to unshare this list, you simply hover over the bullet, you click shared and then you stop sharing this list and then the other users that were using that link will no longer have access to it. Then another sharing option is if we hover over this and click share, is you can share this list privately to a specific email address, but then that user will need to create a workflow account and then that list will be automatically added to their account. And that's obviously if you want to keep things private. Great, another feature I want to show you is how to export a list, assuming I want to copy all of these items somewhere. I have a very long list and I want to export it somewhere. You hover over the bullet and you click on export. And here you've got the options of exporting it as formatted, plain text or OPML. And you can simply highlight all the text, copy it. And here, for example, I've got a blank document. I can simply copy all these items in here. Then Workflowy does support basic formatting and that would be bold, italics and underlined. And to apply these, you simply use the shortcut on your keyboard. So we can use command B to make these bold. If we want to make some of these italic, we use command I. And if we want to underline some of these items, we simply use U. Then the last feature that I want to show you is the starring feature. What the star at the top right here lets you do is you can star a specific page and then it'll be added to your starred items or your starred pages. And this lets you set up different configurations that you use frequently and return to them quickly. So assuming I want to just have a page that shows my action items, so I zoom into my action items and then I click the star and that'll add this page to my favorites here at the bottom or my starred pages. If I want to bookmark or star this page, then I also simply click the star and then it adds it to my items here. And the way you access those is at the top left here, you click on the star and it brings up this gray bar at the bottom and then you can quickly jump between these different pages. The search bar in the top left is also extremely powerful. You can just type any word and it'll find any list that uses that word. You can filter down to hashtags. The other thing I wanted to show you is that there is a Workflowy app for Mac that I use. This is what it looks like. It's very minimalist. It looks very similar to the version in the browser. But there's also the iOS app for Workflowy that you can use. Basic, minimalist, but it works very well. And it's great just having all your notes and your lists and your items on your mobile device. So yeah, that's Workflowy. It doesn't get more complicated than that. You can see that it can be extremely powerful. There is a free account that you can sign up for. Find the sign up link in the description below. I absolutely love this app and use it every day. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you smash that like button. Wishing you an awesome day. I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media. I will chat to you soon. Cheers.